Hey guys, what's up? This is Ken, and today we have a different kind of video. It's not a cover, but it's about my DIY vocal booth and how I made it. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing I did was to go to Home Depot and get some PVC pipes. So the long ones are around 10 feet tall, and I got them for like $3. And I bought six just to be safe, because I wasn't sure how much I was going to use. The size I got were uh, 3 fourths inch. Then I got these side connectors, I got 8 of them, and then I got the adapters that go with them. Then I got the T's. I also got myself a PVC cutter. I got these Amazon moving blankets, 4 for 35 bucks. I'll leave the link in the description. And I got these LED lights from Amazon, I'll put the link in the description also. I forgot to mention one more thing, I use zip ties and nails, so if you're going to build your own, make sure you have some. So first, what I did was to mark the PVC pipes where I want to cut them, and evenly measure them, and then cut them with the PVC cutter. Then I connected these side connectors to the pipes. Then it should look like this. Made them all even. Then I placed the pipes onto the wall and moved the microphone diffuser there to measure how wide I want the vocal booth to be. Using the leftover PVC pipes, I marked them and cut them to make the width. Then I placed them together to make them look like this. Then I made another one. Then I used more of the leftover PVC pipes to connect the two walls. Now I'm measuring the distance of these pipes to add a stability pipe. So it should look like this. I added three pipes, two on the side and then one in the front. Now we're done with the PVC pipes and now we're going to move on to the moving blankets. I placed the nails in these locations. The next thing I did was to create a sliding door and uh, what I used was zip tie. So the first thing I did was to move the moving blankets over the pipe and then poke two holes and place a zip tie through it. This should make like a sliding door effect. Then the next thing was to move the vocal booth wherever you want. I placed it next to the desk. These are the zip tie locations for the sliding door. Now I'm installing the LED lights. And the reason why I'm doing them now is because if I put the cover on top or the moving blanket on top, uh, it just gets too dark and I can't see anything. So here's what it looks like lit up without the moving blanket on top of the vocal booth. So the last thing was to place the moving blankets on top. Took a while. So here's the final look. It looks pretty nice. I'm pretty happy with the result. I hope this video inspired you or helped you create your own DIY vocal booth. But now it's the moment of truth. We're going to test how it sounds. And by the way, the music in the background is my band Skylar Rise, and the song is called Memories of Us. You can check us out on iTunes, Spotify, Apple Music, basically everywhere. And we also have a Facebook page, so if you could like and share, that would help us a lot. Thanks. So I'm four inches away from the microphone, and this is the microphone outside of the vocal booth. So you could kind of hear the background noise, uh, the refrigerator running, as well as cars going by outside. And uh, this is just me talking normally, no edits, it's raw. Um, so let me first let you guys hear just complete silence. Okay, so that's how it sounds, and uh, let me bring this microphone into the vocal booth to let you guys know the difference, or if you can spot the difference. So I moved the microphone into the vocal booth, and this is how it sounds. So there's less 
hissing from the refrigerator as well as cars passing by outside. And one of the reasons why I made this vocal booth is to not piss off my neighbors so I could live in this apartment still. And uh, it's it's been doing pretty well. Um, yeah, so this is just me normally speaking. And this is how it sounds. And uh, let me be silent for a little bit to let you hear the silence without any edits. Yeah, so there's le there should be less hissing or any background noise. So I hope this video inspired you to create your own DIY vocal booth. So thanks for watching.